Hello everybody, it's the start of a new month. It is July 3rd. I had today off because of the holiday, so I have a three day weekend. Um, I've been up since four, because instead of being lazy today, I decided, hey, I'm gonna get up at four, I'm gonna work out, and I'm gonna be productive, because work gets in the way of a lot of things. I work from eight to five, so it's hard to get things done during the week, because um, when they're open, I'm at work, and then when I get off work, they're closed. So I made like a to-do list and I had this mindset of I'm gonna be really productive today. So I got up at four, I worked out, I had tidied up my home and then went grocery shopping and I was like, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. And then didn't because a lot of things are closed today because of the holiday. So I could have been lazy today and just slept in. So uh, next three day weekend, that's definitely something I'm gonna do. Screw being productive, <laughs> I'm just gonna be lazy, but yeah. Um, in the process of making dinner, because it's almost 5 o'clock, it's 4.44, and I'm hungry, and I'm probably going to chill out and watch Hamilton, because that's available on Disney Plus now. Saturday and I just started working on a new cosplay project and so far I did do the apron pattern and I just have to uh, cut that out and then I'll work on the skirt and then I'll do some sewing after that the end of the month just a few more days left in July and then it'll be August uh, this month was okay it was a stressful one um, I also edited this video differently than I edited uh, last month's video I made this one shorter and did more of a highlight reel mainly because um, I was really busy this month and I was also very stressed out so I wanted this to be easier to edit and put together and try to keep it shorter um, I'll keep it under 10 minutes for myself because the one I did for June that took me three days <laughs> to edit and put together and upload so definitely didn't want to spend that much time on this one so hope you still like it um, it'll probably vary just depending on how the month goes some might be longer some might be shorter but we'll see um, I'm new to filming videos I'm new to editing videos so I'm still trying to figure out like my style so it's subject to change, but yeah. <laughs> but um, I got through this month and it was really eye-opening for me as well because when you're in a position where it's kind of like you're just carrying a lot of stress and you just 
having people come at you for no reason, it makes you kind of reevaluate, like, what am I doing with my life? So I ended up applying to go back to school and I got approved. So next year, it'll be in the fall because I'm gonna be relocating from Kansas City to Colorado. I wanted to give myself time to get situated in Colorado, especially because I'll be living at a higher altitude as well. Um, and I didn't wanna stress myself out just getting there a few months before school and then trying to get things together. But in January, I'll be moving from here to Colorado and um, preparing to go back to school. I'm excited about it and it's like a fresh start and a fresh chapter. It's something I really need because this year has been rough and yeah, a lot of things that um, I haven't been doing, haven't been working. Um, I've been in Missouri for three years now. I've made zero friends and this is just being here has been like kind of a constant source of negativity. I like the quote where it's, you can't heal in the place that broke you. And that's how I feel about living in Kansas City. Kansas City has been a constant steady source of negativity for me and I'm never going to grow or get heal as a person or anything like that as long as I stay here so I'm excited about a fresh start in a new place um, to ch I've never been to Colorado this will be brand spanking new to me um, I picked Colorado because that was the closest school with a degree program that I was looking at which is lifestyle medicine um, going for my bachelor's and going to become a board certified health and wellness coach. So Colorado had the closest school. It's like nine hours from here. So I was like, oh, that's not too bad. Um, I could pack up myself and drive a, the whole trip or I can break it up into two days or, you know, it was doable or I can hire someone to move my stuff. But I was like, that's doable for me. Anything past like 10 hours, I'd be like, oh, might have to look at something else yeah even though this month has not been the best it was just it was it was eye-opening and it was something that I needed that kick in the butt to just move forward and get out of this rut that I have been in um, this year has been something else <laughs> um, and I know it's been something else for a lot of people I don't know 2020 is on something different but yeah but that's my July for me in a nutshell. I'm looking forward to a better August. Wish me luck next week because I will be doing a 14 hour shift on Tuesday. Could be longer than 14 hours. I'm hoping it's just 14 hours. So uh, fingers crossed I don't pass out because I'm gonna have to get up at like two in the morning and um, I can't have caffeine. I have a heart murmur. <laughs> so if I have caffeine, I'm just gonna end up in the hospital. So. Fingers crossed that I make it through next week and don't pass out. But um, that's it for me for this month. Wish me luck next month. And I hope you guys had a great month and you have an even better August. And I'll see you next month. Bye.